And we are back with a very short seven days to die video. And we're going to talk about warehouse shelving. I'm working on the new house, the new base. And it's always good to have a warehouse so you can put crates and boxes and things. Um, keep it out of the way and just be able to access it if you need it later. Um, it, it's been a little tricky sometimes getting the, the, the shelving to look okay. Um, primarily because here's here's the been the problem in the past let's say you start with uh your, your basic plate and you throw your plate down okay well how do you throw your plate down if you set it here on the second level you're not able to put boxes or crates there so you need to have it on the first level and flip it around but the problem is we need to have some pole, some pole supports for the shelving. And how do you do that? It's a little tricky. You can, now you can take this basic pole here, but then you have to offset, you have to have it offset like this. So this kind of works. Um, But then you have to make it, but then you're wasting a space here. Let's say we want to continue the shelving, like have long shelving. You see, now we're wasting a block. So if we put these pole supports in place, we end up kind of wasting a whole block area. So that's always been a bit problematic. Uh, and again, we can't put the support here. So now we have to, here's the other problem. If we put if we put the second shelf here, we don't have room for the, the the boxes or crates, so we have to move it up here, and that's pretty much what you have to do. You can't you can't put it here because then we don't have room for boxes or crates. So that's always been a bit problematic here, is that you're kind of wasting a lot of space. So what? So with the release of Alpha 20, the Fun Pimps have given us a bunch of new blocks, and I found some great uh, shelving and uh, warehouse shelving options, and I wanted to show you that. And you can see I finished this one up, and it looks great. We have a great looking base with some good supports, and then we have we got room for two two crates, three, and then another two crates here or boxes or whatever. And then we have some room for the top shelving and it looks good and you can see these supports are supported in the in the center so they don't take up too much space i mean we're still kind of losing a block but and again we could modify this however we, we wanted if we just wanted to have like maybe one central support we could do that and i'll show you how to do that too but basically in order to get this type of shelving we, there are uh, four blocks we need to do and I actually even might change this a little bit but here are the four blocks that we're going to use um, and let's say I guess we're gonna start here on the third we're gonna go three blocks in one two three and we're gonna start here and so the new block that I really like is this type of block called the scaffolding scaffolding plank and so we're gonna th get one of these with the with the supported centers and we're gonna throw some of these down now these are gonna go at the end one two three and then we can decide if we want to have more more supports like this or do we want just one big one in the center so let's see how, many, how much space one two three one two three let's go ahead and do this we'll, we'll we'll allow ourselves even more room okay so this is the this is going to be the foundation of our uh, our warehouse shelving now after we get the scaffolding plank supported center pieces down we're going to just grab some scaffolding planks without any supports and we're going to throw that down for filler. And there we go. That's our shelving. And if we wanted just to keep it like this, that would probably be decent. And we could actually leave it like that too. 
Um, but now here's the trick. We, I want a second row of shelving. I wonder if we could even do third a third row. That well, let's no, nah. because we're still going to run into the same problem. Is that if we throw another layer here, a box or a crate takes up one complete uh, block. So we, we have to continue it up here. And so you can see we have, let's see, we haven't done that. Um, so let's, let's see if we, let's try this here. We're going to do, we're going to repeat that same block up here. And again, I'm kind of winging it now because I actually have another idea. I want to try something. But we th throw three more scaffolding plank supported center pieces down. And then we're going to finish up again with the scaffolding plank. Okay. Now we have to connect these because otherwise it's going to look like it's magically floating in midair. And so the piece I found that works well to connect these, you go down to, I think, the window the window set is it the window section uh, I'm not sure I'll, I'll just scroll down I'll scroll down where it's at here it is let me take a look here I think okay right here uh, we want door not the door trim here we go it's gonna be under door trim and we're gonna take the door trim one meter double centered and it's easy to see it's the only bit of door trim that's right in the center on, the, on top of that little plate. And this is what we're going to do to connect. Uh, put that there. There. And there. And that, we could leave it right there. I, I do want to see if there's a good end piece for door trim that we could possibly use. Um, we have door trim double. Oh, look at that. That looks good. <laughs> Let's rotate that. I like this better than this. This one was, okay, because this is too thick. It looks a little clunky, a little clumsy. This looks so much better. Uh, so the, the piece that I used there was, I think the pole double is what I used. And you can see if we, if we use the pole double, it's big, it's kind of clunky. It works. The pole double does work. But I don't think nearly as elegantly as this other one here. This uh the door trim one meter double. So yeah, so I that's the way to do it. And then so what you do then, of course, when you're finishing up, you gotta reinforce it. Make sure there's no zombies around. And then you can reinforce it more or less, however you want. And then from that point, it's just a matter of deciding how you want to uh, paint it to look, you know, to look. Uh... And actually, I'm not even sure how we can paint this. Let's see if we can do, uh, was it pill case side? I don't think it was pill case. Let's try it. No, black granite. No, not that. What did we do? We're going for if we want a wood look, what would be a good look here? If, we, if we're going for a, I wonder how polished wood wood floor would look. You know, we could do actually for shelving. Why don't we do this? We could do tread plate for the shelving surface. And then maybe we could do. I like a metal ventilation duct. I like that that texture because it's really bright it really stands out it pops uh oh oh I'm out of paint oh shoot I'm out of paint here give me one sec let's throw some more paint in here all right 
And like I say, it's totally up to, do you, to, to you how you want to do the shelving. If we want to give it a metal look. Um, this kind of works. Uh, do we want to do this for, with the, uh, the legs and the supports? And you have a couple different options. Let's say we keep this with the supports here. Um, sometimes I like to give, uh, I like to use like a metal look. Um, it's concrete. Uh, we don't have metal yellow, I don't think. But sometimes if I want to give like a safety, you know, caution kind of look. That looks pretty good. So we could even do something like that. And then let's go back to the... Uh, Again, do we want to do diamond plate or should, we, should yeah that would be good I guess and I don't can we see one thing cool about this the scaffold surface is that when you can you can paint the underside of the scaffold and it'll it'll show through on both sides so you can be you can be assured that the top uh, the top section of the the block will be painted as well too so there we go um i was gonna see if there was like a a darker kind of texture for the support but actually i think i like this metal ducting texture okay so, this is our basic, let me finish painting this here. All right. So this is some, I think, amazing looking warehouse shelving surface. And so we have a couple different things for the textures. Again, the supports, I'm using metal ventilation duct for the supports here. And you can do it, also do it for the edging. I think that looks really good. Or if you wanna have that little, little you know, caution safety yellow. That one is, I like this concrete yellow. This looks really good. Anything safety, anything high visibility, I like concrete yellow. And then again, for the surface of your uh, your warehouse shelving, I'm going with the, the diamond metal plate. So that works good. I actually like this even better than this other one here. So that's how you do good warehouse shelving.